It's early morning and the New America Arms Stores is packed. Here, all sorts of weapons are on display, from machine guns and semi-automatic rifles to this tiny little revolver, which Jennifer Wen always carries with her. And it's very small, as you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand. It, we wouldn't typically consider this a caliber that you would use for self-defense. Mm. You'd want something more substantial. However, a bullet is still a bullet. And if this discharges to someone, it will cause damage. And depending on the shot placement, it could cause lethal harms. Americans purchased more than 17 million firearms in 2020, a record number. The spike in sales started during the coronavirus pandemic and continued to rise during the Black Lives Matter protests over racial injustice. The November election has further divided the country with both Republicans and Democrats suspicious of each other more than ever. There are those politicians who basically, if you boil it down, really want control. And so we know historically that control cannot be achieved without disarming a population. There are many examples of that worldwide. And so we're seeing uh, the extreme left um, want to disarm the populace. And the whole point behind it is for control. That's the truth of it. Nobody wants to admit that. Robert Lewis thinks this is a defining moment in the history of the United States. You can see already in, in American politics that there's a shift. We have the, the uh, unreasonable Republicans that, that have supported Donald Trump. And, and, and now they're kind of backing off politely. And I can see the, the point of uh, the, the, a lot of the people who are opposed to it as to, you know, let's, um, let's try to, to be unified and not divided. He wanted his children to witness how different their city is these days with its empty streets and barriers. This is a scene that's repeated across the country. The seat of the state government shut down to the public and sealed off. And that's because the FBI has warned of potentially large-scale and violent demonstrations. But this is something most Americans have never lived through before, and it's causing a lot of apprehension. One block away, a bomb scare at the Virginia Supreme Court building. Authorities sealed off the area, but no explosives were found. Just an example of how the country is on edge. The city council has banned firearms at demonstrations. Many say their rights are being stripped away and vow to rally in support of the Second Amendment in the days leading up to the inauguration of Joe Biden. With the country deeply polarized, the image of public parks and buildings closed is one of a nation in fear of itself.